Welcome to Premier Inter Schools News. We are back and oh, we've got some epic clashes coming up. Let's head to Paul Royce where we are joined some of the first 15 players. Gents, tell me, how's it looking in the team and, and how's the vibe? Well, I think the team's very prepared, you know, we're extremely excited for the clash. It's always a great rivalry and we've had a lot of contact over the last few weeks. We've played a few games. We had the tournament at North States as well, where we played against Afisa Bartokluf. And we also had a tour to Ireland in December, which was great for the boys just to prepare early. You guys are a very strong side this year. What are some of those strengths to look out for? I think it's also for us, GSW and the chemistry between the span. Our span that very good can react on what he wants others to do. So his own line break makers and his opposite cover. So I think that is our worst key strength is fun to score and spell and it. Yeah, good to be back home. And finally, we've got the Maroon Machine Porus going up to the Eastern Cape to take on Grey High for another massive encounter. Now we've already heard from the men in Maroon, from Paul Roos. You sure you don't want to hear more? Yeah, I think I think I think we can wrap it up for now. <laughs> yeah, I think let's let's we'll see them on the field, and that'll do enough talking right there. So let's get to Grey High. Unlike their sister school in Bloemfontein, Grey High are based in Klobarga and also a very proud sporting school. Yes, I mean they've got big names that has walked the hallways of Grey High. I mean Gavin Cowley. We have the Pollock brothers. And of course, JJ Engelbrecht, Sergio Peterson. That and come on. Woo. Kerwin Bosch. Kerwin Boss. I'll let you have the big one. Oh, Captain, my captain. Siam Tanda Kulisi. I mean, those are the players that have played on the field of Grey High. Have you played on Grey High? Sure. Lovely. Yes, actually, in my final year in Matric, they got to fly us up to Nobeja. Well, that was like, and usually we took buses. <laughs> Fancy, eh? First team, first, first team perks. Okay, cool, 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 cool. But now, Khaleesi Field is now the, the venue of this um, encounter. And on the line, we have some of the great first team boys. Gus, how's it looking in that team? Uh, the team is well prepared and ready to give it their all. Um, as you all know in rugby, there is no such thing as an easy game. So, uh, needing, going, up, going into this game, so I feel, I feel like confidence and self belief is going to be vital. What are some of the strengths in this side? Well, there are a lot of us that's worked through the ranks and come up through junior school. So we're all quite familiar, familiar with one another. So we're a close-knit bunch of boys. So that sense of brotherhood and camaraderie between us is a vital aspect in our team, especially during practice and games when it comes to those close moments that we need to be prosperous. And I think that's going to be crucial for us moving forward into furthermore of the season. Now they are traveling all the way from Stellenbosch to come take you on on this very special Khaleesi field. What are you expecting from the Maroon Machine? Uh, we know it's going to be a tough battle against the top team. Uh, they, are, they will have a big pack of forwards and they will have a fast back line. And um, ultimately it's about us and how we're going to continue to improve for the rest of the season. One thing is for sure, this great team will defend that field with pride. Let's take a look at some of the results. I mean, Katua, you're only as good as your last game. 62-0 uh -huh. win for Grey High. Whopping mm. score, 62-0. Uh, to shut out a team completely is, is quite a feat, yeah. especially in school where I mean, we know how strong it is. That's why we're here to discuss all the things. And I just need to highlight Hudson Park mm. just quickly because, I mean, I'm from East London. Hudson, Spa, uh, Hudson Park is at least representing right here. But a loss to Grey High, but, I mean, a valiant effort from the Hudson Park boys. <laughs> I mean, we always speak about the vibe in the Western Cape, but the vibe at school sports in the Eastern Cape, that is something electrifying. And it's growing week by week, month by month, year by year. So, I mean, just the strength and Grey High have been at the core of that. So, I'm very excited to see what they'll be doing in the future and also how many other Eastern Cape sides they'll spark to get to this level. Yeah, I mean, it's not only the rugby on the field, I'm the supporters. I love the sing songs. So, I'm going to be sing dancing, songs. dancing along to the vibe I have no <laughs> rhythm, so I'll just, I'll just clap my hands. Not silently, but quite quite aggressively in the background. <laughs>
taking a look at the history of this encounter over the last eight years, Paul Roos have taken five wins compared to just the one from Grey High. But the boys from the Eastern Cape are never to be underestimated and this year's team won't be a pushover by any means. And they're playing for pride on their home turf. So if you are in the area, go watch this game for some entertaining top-class schools rugby. Well, that's it for this edition of Premier Inter Schools. Don't forget, you can catch us online to get all the live reports, results, fixtures from the best of the best when it comes to schoolboy rugby and netball. You forgot the banter, Katua. Oh, the banter, of course, as well. We'll see you next time.